Inside the Ropes YouTube channel, like and subscribe. And we're back here on Inside the Ropes. My name is Kenny McIntosh. I'm joined by the always wonderful Rhea Ripley. Good day, mate. <laughs> I'm going to try and not say shrimp on a barbie. Um, <laughs> so, it's, it's just um, Dumb and Dumber, that was the initial. I love it. Um, so, it's WrestleMania weekend. You know, last year, I was watching last year's WrestleMania the other day with you and Asuka. Um, it, you, but now we kind of feel like we're back to normal, touch wood. Like, and, um, you're in the team with Liv, you're going to go for the women's tag titles. How has this last year been for you, kind of getting out of the Thunderdome, getting in front of fans again, um, you know, team with Nikki, kind of re establishing yourself? Uh, it's been wild. It's been so wild. Like, I don't even really know what the whole year consisted of, to be completely honest. I feel like my life has just been one wild roller coaster of emotions and different things. And, like, it's, it's nice to see how far we've come from the Thunderdome. But at the same time, like, it's wild to think how, like, long ago that was now. You know, like it feels like yesterday. It does, um, but I'm I'm glad that we're here. We're at Mania, and we have as many people as we do in the crowd, and I get to share this moment with Liv. And from going from singles to a tag with Nikki Ash to now tagging with Liv, like I feel like my life has just been flipped around and just maybe chucked in a bag and shuffled a little bit. But like I'm having fun. I'm loving it. I'm relishing in it, and I'm ready to go. And um, you know, there's a lot of people kind of saying, you know, you be, you've been in the tag team with Nikki, now you're the tag team with Liv. Are we, good, are we going to see Rhea Ripley singles again soon or do you feel like tag team is the new the new you? <laughs> um, so I've always been like a lone wolf. Um, the tag team with Nikki ASH, it was fun while it lasted. It definitely did take a warming up process. Where the one with Liv, I sort of just got thrown in it again, but I've meshed with her very, very quickly um, and I am enjoying myself. But I think after... It's all said and done with Liv and we have both go our separate ways. I think that I'm ready for singles competition. Um, I don't really let many people win, so letting two people win in the same year is a bit wild for me. <laughs> but I hope that we can win the Women's Tag Team Championships at WrestleMania and we can make magic together and, and do all that sort of stuff. But after it's all said and done and Liv and I are done, then I'm definitely going to singles. Um, let's talk about Triple H, you know, the retirement announcement that we had, you know, obviously really everybody's glad he's okay now, but um, what is he, what has he meant to you being in WWE and, you know, just share some of the kind of experiences you've had with him. So he's definitely like a father figure. Um, I love Triple H and I'm so glad that he's doing better now and it was a very scary moment and very sad and um, he he honestly is the reason that I started watching wrestling and that I started wrestling. Like my first glimpse of wrestling was him and Ric Flair. Um, and I loved it from then on there. He was my favorite and I loved everything about him. So then coming here and having him as a boss is absolutely incredible. He cares so much about all of us and he really does love us like children. And I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for him. Um, he saw that the WWE Universe got behind me and they believed in me and then he realised like how special I was and he elevated my career to the point that it's at right now. Um, so honestly I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him and like I said before I'm so glad that he's doing better. I just It makes me sad knowing that he is retiring. I hope to still see him around but I'm just glad that he's getting back to being healthy. And you know, um, when people kind of make the jump from NXT to the main roster, you know, sometimes people succeed really well at like you and some people don't. How important has Triple H been to sort of that process of, you know, you going to the main roster and it working out for you? Um, he definitely did build me up. Um, he, built, he built me up like the monster that you see today and I think that got everyone excited because I am obviously like a bigger build, like I'm a bit staunchier than everyone else and I'm a bit more jacked. But, um, he, he built me into this monster and it sort of couldn't be ignored by Raw and SmackDown in a way. Um, so I really do owe it to him. Even when I first started at Raw, he was going to the shows and he would help me out and like tell me things that I should do and who I should talk to. So I do owe my career to Triple H as well. Very last question. Your relationship with Vince McMahon, chairman of the board, he's an enigma. <laughs> um, what is your relationship like with him? Any fun experiences that you can share? Um, I mean, I don't really talk to him too much because he's a very busy man, but every time I come back from like 
being out on the show, I'll come back and ask him how I did and all that, and he would tell me his advice or tell me that I did good. So that's nice. But there's been a couple of times where like us girls are just like mucking around backstage, like dancing, but like in a real weird way. And he will just end up walking past, and he will have a little giggle to himself, and we'll all be very, very embarrassed. <laughs> but that's about it, really.